Hi, what's up friends? This is Casey with the Jones to Learn Bounce House. I hope all of you are doing super well. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I have had a few things happen and I wanted to share them with you, um, but one baby step at a time. I have some really exciting stuff that I want to share with you guys and it's all in this envelope right here. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. So I have my fancy envelope opener. Everybody, everybody knows these are dangerous, right? Don't play with these at home. Says, Dear Casey, congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you that you have been admitted to the Southeast Missouri Hospital of Southeast Health College of Nursing and Health Sciences for the 2021 year of basic full-time track for the Associates of Applied Science in Nursing program. Attached to this letter, you will find the admission packet. Along with the directions on how to accept this offer, we kindly ask that you respond within two weeks of this notification. Please note that your ad admissions is contingent upon the completion of several post-admission requirements that are outlined on the enclosed document. Very cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to dig into this uh, packet and see what all it contains and all the little... Uh, check yes, check no's, and all that great stuff. So I will definitely, definitely let you guys follow me along. Um, so a little bit of background on me. I have two degrees. Um, I actually have my bachelor's in dietetics. So um, at Southeast Missouri State University, or SEMO, if you're from around here, um, we call it the Human and Environmental Studies and Dietetics is what that degree is actually called. And then I went for my master's after that in nutrition and exercise science. And um, I actually had been working in that field uh, for a few years and lost my job. Sorry about that. Uh, my <laughs> first started going and when the uh, shark vacuum starts going you can't hear anything so all this hard work for anyway I um, the world is a crazy place right now and that is just not the career that people are hiring for um, so I've spent a lot of time crying and praying and praying and crying um, my husband and I have done a lot of praying together, just trying to figure out what is the next step for me. Uh, for a while, he just continued to um, suggest that I go for my PhD, but I can honestly tell you that I did not feel that direction at all. I felt very stuck. I felt like, okay, so I'm going to go for three years for a PhD, three to four to six, depending on what research I was gathering, um, to do what? Like I would have a PhD in nutrition, food science, and what would I do? Would I just be teaching in the college? Because right now everything is so different in the world and I just, I couldn't fathom just standing behind a desk or, or in front of a camera and teaching. Um, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love to educate people and healthier lifestyles and great nutrition choices. and. Those things make me very happy, but I felt like I needed to be doing something to help the world right now. And not that I'm an Avenger or anything like that. I was just trying to rationalize what would be the next move. And, and this pandemic isn't going away. You know, like we're still fighting COVID nearly a year later um, and lives are still being taken on a daily basis. And so I just, you know, I just decided that nursing needs to be what I'm helping the world with. Um, 
baby steps, right? So I am doing the associate's degree uh, for the nursing program through the Southeast, Southeast, Southeast College of Nursing. I can say it. How do they say it? And it's there, right? So I'm doing the Associates of Applied Science and Nursing program. Why can't I just say that out loud? It's just so hard for me to say at Southeast Health College of Nursing. Um, so this is just the beginning. I love school. I love learning. I love studying for stuff. I love it when things click together. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's why that works like that. So I cannot wait to share with you guys this journey. Um, a lot of my dietetic classes, not all of them, of course, but a lot of my dietetic classes transfer over into this degree. And so um, my first semester is the summer in June. And according to what I've looked at online, I could be wrong. I haven't talked to my admissions counselor yet, um, but it looks like I'm just taking one class. It's a seminar. Um, and it's just one day a week. So the summer, my classes aren't too heavy, uh, but I do believe in the fall, um, I'll have three classes, which again is not very much for me because I am used to carrying 18 to 21 hours. Um, I say used to, I haven't been in school since 2015. That's when I finished my master's degree um, and it's 2021. So it's been six years since I've been in a classroom um, on the learning side. I go into classrooms and teach about nutrition and healthy lifestyles um, to adolescents, children, even adults. So um, anyway, I'm just really excited. I just cannot wait to share this journey with you guys and um, to see what unfolds. God is mighty. Uh, and I, to be honest with you, some of the steps that I had to take in order to do this was a lot of praying and a lot more crying. I've been crying a lot. And I think a lot of that was due to um, my procedure that I was getting ready to have too. I had a lot of anxiety about that procedure. Um, that's why it's point. So we, we spent a lot of time praying. Um, my daughter uh, had actually just decided to enroll into the Rad Tech program uh, and needed to complete her T's. So she gave me her T's to practice test on. And honestly, I was, I kept taking it and I kept getting the same score. So um, I just decided, okay, well, I'm just gonna do it because I'm, I was right, you have to have a 70 on your uh, T's in order to get into the nursing program. And I was like at a 60, Eight or 69 I can't remember um, so I just went ahead and, and just took it just to because I took two of those practice tests so I just took it and um, I made a 74 so I was like oh it's got to be a god thing because I didn't turn the pages I didn't study I didn't look at anything else I just did two practice tests and then and I there's a whole procedure to tease if you guys need that information like holler at me and I'll send you the link but um, I did those practice tests and then a week later I took the test and and it's instantaneous like you know your score right away so I was like oh my gosh it's great and it sends automatically so you don't have to worry about that uh, so it was received by the admissions office um, I had already filled out an application so then all I had to do was pay for my sitting fee um so not my sitting fee my admissions fee i had to pay for my admissions fee and then uh they said that they would have to review my college transcripts my high school transcripts which were bunk i don't even know how i passed high school um and then i guess to approve the application they had to go through those and they had to have a background check so um, and then I got this little letter in the mail. And that's how it all kind of unfolded. So, uh, the next steps, I guess, um, are to accept the letter um, to let them know that I am interested and I will be attending this summer and to possibly sit down with the admissions counselor and see exactly what my schedule is going to consist of because I don't have to have several of the like, general education classes. Like I've already taken speech and English and chemistry and history and all that great jazz. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. 
So I just wanted to let you guys know that I was starting this new journey and I hope that you will join me in it. So I will be sharing all kinds of fun information with you guys on the journey ahead and I hope that um, maybe I can be of encouragement. I am excited and terrified at the same time. I am 40 years old. Like going into a new degree at 40 just seems really, um, I don't know, questionable. But I know that in two years, two years from this May, <laughs> two years from this May, I will be able to be practicing as a registered nurse. So, um, and again with the baby steps, but I, I intend to go ahead and go further into this degree with my bachelor's and possibly even go for my master's, but that's just who I am. Um, once I get onto something, once I learn something and I'm really excited about it, I get really into it um, since, I mean, I've done that forever, but um, I actually minored in anthropology because I loved it so much, but cultural dietetics was really, really cool for me. So understanding cultures is, um, fabulous in the mission field and stuff. So, but anyway, okay. Have I gone on and on yet? I just want to thank each and every one of you for, um, continuing to watch our YouTube channel. There are going to be some dynamics that are changing. Um, we will still be, uh, trying to be adventurous and, um, but I'm just going to be kind of throwing in some updates for school and letting you guys know how I'm doing. I personally have been like scouring YouTube for middle-aged people who are going back to college, going into a medical degree to kind of figure out their work-life balance. How are they still working? How are they maintaining relationships? How are they not like just exhausted and weary to the bone? Like I just, I want to know that information. Um, I'm not finding that. I, I see lots of lovely young people, um, students that are just totally going after life and they are rocking it, but none of them have kids that seem to be already in college or um, graduating in the next year, you know? So I just, I want to know that kind of information. And if I can help other men and women about my age um, with similar lifestyle settings with a, you know, a full house um, and kind of, I don't know, uh, share the chaos and, and hope that we can kind of get through it together and make you guys feel like you're a part of the journey. That is ultimately going to be my goal. Um, but we are still going to keep hiking. We are still going to keep going to the beach. We're still going to keep doing our adventures as a family. And, um, Terrified and excited at the same time. I don't know. It's like a roller coaster. I want to do it, but I'm like, I know I'm gonna scream and I know it's gonna scare me. And but I'm gonna do this because hopefully there's this really cool water funnel at the end, and you know, like we all go away, right? <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much um, again for following us, and uh, I pray that you guys have a fabulous week and God bless. See you later. <laughs>